It spoke to me, Emma. It told me that the only reason it's here is because we brought it down. All it's doing is trying to survive. I don't think it intended to do this to us. <laughs> and you believe that? Come on, Millie, look around you. Look at what this... this thing has done to our planet. Our home. Wait, that's not fair. I listened to it. I've tried to understand it. Yes, well, I have understood it. And I've found a way to stop it. Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, that was rather unexpected. Uh, I basically just loaded the game up, and it started talking. I'm glad I was recording for that, because, uh... Yeah, that was unexpected. It loaded me into a dialogue sequence. But, uh, the game's been updated. Something about making the subtitles easier to read on larger screen sizes, so that's good. But, uh... Yeah, let's see here. It seems like we're going to have to make a choice. I've noticed in the achievements that there's... Two achievements that seem to be about making a choice at the end of the game. So we might be close to the end of the game, we might have to choose between Emma and the cube areas, people, whatever they are. Might have to choose one or the other. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully it'll have more of an impact than the ending of some other games with choices at the end. <laughs> right, what do we have here? That is our edgeless safety cube. And that button moves that for us. What is on top of that? Nothing, that's just a place to stand. Gotcha. And this moves that. Oh, that's how we would get up there. Okay. So if we move this out of the way, and I do that, and this... Oh, okay, I need to stand here, so that I can stop the edge of the safety cube from rolling off. And of course, there's no way to crush it here, as far as I can tell, but, uh... I'm sure we'll find some way to crush an edgeless safety cube someday. Oh, right. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, what do I do about that? <laughs> Is there a way... ...that I can also launch myself over there at the same time? Not really. Oh, I almost made that. Is that even what I'm supposed to be doing, though? Well, that's weird. Has there always been, like, a crack that you could see through here? I don't think I've noticed that before, if so. Hmm. Well, anyway, what else? Can't really do... Maybe we want to push a block? Let's try that. Maybe, maybe we'll have more luck with a block being pushed on to it. And that did basically nothing. Amazing. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely want to get up there. Can we push this... enough... to then do this? Well, that was... unexpected! What is even going on here? <laughs> this is all kinds of weird. Oh, I- hello there! Wait, can I- am I overcomplicate? Can I just do this? Oh yeah, hey, look at that! Fancy that! What's in here? I thought I had to do stuff out here first before I could come in here, but apparently not. Oh, and then... we also wanna... roll it into this door when it's on fire, right? So first of all, we have to ink it, right? How's that going to work? Cause it seemed to roll pretty darn fast. Maybe we now have to go up- oh! Oh! Oh, why, hello there! I didn't even notice that. Well, that answers that question. Let's- let's try this again. Yeah, so that'll knock into it. That'll all work out just fine. What activates this, though? Oh, there's buttons up there. Oh, okay, so I do have to solve this part first. I'm just glad I got the door open. Am I missing something here? I really feel like I may be missing something. Do I just have to run for it? 
No, running for it does not work. Plus, that falls off anyway, and we- yeah, okay. I'm missing something here. Namely, the fact that I can just put a cube on this button. Duh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> wow, that was really obvious. I should have seen that. There we go. It's been a little while since I played this game. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. Alright, then we can get rid of the cube. And that gets us over here. And you're kidding me. Because of course. Of course. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Man, my impatience. I do want to point out, by the way, that many of the many of the stuff I make fun of in this game isn't me cr criticizing the game. It's just stuff that I find entertaining because it's it's funny that certain things are certain ways in the game. I'm actually really enjoying the game. It's actually- the, the whole fire mechanic, the fire and oil thing, is actually pretty neat. It's actually a good example of timed puzzles done correctly. That's not something you see often in puzzle games. But, uh, yeah, Demon Risen and I have been conversing in the comments. You should check out those comments if you haven't already. Right, so now we can finally get over here. That's some good news, finally. Let's- oops. How do I do that? Right, it's a toggle, okay. We can do that. It's all fine and dandy. Let's start this over. Oops. Wrong color. <laughs> How did I select the wrong color? I must have accidentally scrolled. Or maybe my mouse scrolled for me. Right, this does... Oh, it moves... Oh! Oh! Well, okay then. Sure, I'll do that. That seems like a plan. Oh yeah, one of the updates in the game is they made it so you can turn off the automatical, automatic, ch uh, panning of the camera when you use these. It's like if I'm looking this direction, it- it automatically- come on now, come on now. It'll automatically make me look the other direction like that. That's not me moving the mouse, that's just the game doing that automatically. They finally added the option to turn that off, but I don't mind, I think it's fine. Right, so now we move this over here. Oh, 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 careful. Come on, come on. There we go. And that should be sufficient. Indeed it is. That's interesting music. This is not the music I would expect to be playing right now. But sure, we'll go with that. I like how the music plays over the load screen, that's nice. A lot of games can't do that for some reason. Right, what next? I actually don't know how close we are to the end of the game, but based on the achievements, I'd say pretty close. Maybe like an hour left at most. Interesting. Why though? Hang on, there's another area down here. Huh? There's a door here. Why, though? Strange... Maybe we'll be coming back here? I don't know. Ooh! I think we have a tree coming up. Look at that lighting effect, that looks really nice. I'm... Back here. Ooh. I scanned the monolith, Millie. All its energy is being diverted to a chamber that is supporting its mind as it's dying. Use the machine that you powered to descend and find that room. When you're there, I think I can remotely overload your suit's manipulation functions to sever its life source. We can stop this together. Wait! I'm not sure about this. What will that do to me, Emma? Honestly, I don't know. But I do know it's our best chance to save Earth. Please, Millie. I... I need some space to think. Just give me that, please. Hmm. Well, this looks very lovely. This is very serene and beautiful. The lighting is very nice. But man, we've been in here a long time if it's now nighttime and it was not nighttime earlier. 
That's still the desert out there, right? I think good, good look. Yeah, it still looks all sandy. So we've got a few doors here. Are there doors on this side too? There's one there. Is there anything down here? N doesn't quite look like it. And then there's... these, which kinda look like... kinda look like some of the art that you can get from the Steam cards, the Steam trading cards. Just a bunch of weird mist around here. Right, well. Oh, ooh! I didn't even notice this this year. This is how we would get up here. This looks like where we're gonna go next, after we do the other doors. So, uh, yeah, let's hop down. We can do one of these doors. I think I'm going to go first to the other side and do the door over there, just cause it's all off by its lonesome. Oh, there's a- th There's more! One, two, three, four... Five. Okay, so there's five doors. I thought there were less than that. Interesting. Let's start here. And if my camera jerks around unexpectedly, if I do a sudden turn like that or whatever, that's just because of my, my mouse freaking out sometimes. I think it's because I have a video playing by accident in the background. Can I stand on top of this? I totally can! Huh. What if I do... Uh, this? Okay, I can stand on top of that too. I'm on top of the world! Not sure it helps me, but... I'm doing it, so. Uh, gee thanks. What exactly do I need to do here? I need to open this door, right? So, could I just... Would this work? Yeah, that works. Okay. Not sure if that was intended, but that's- that would all take. I'll take it. And then we can get up here, and this leads to these buttons, right? Yep. That turns on the gunk. And this turns on the fire. There we go. Right, so. Oh, wrong color. Don't need that anymore. We do this, right? Well. Let's maybe turn that off for a moment. We want that to burn, right? How are we gonna accomplish that? Perhaps... Nope. Oh. That's not quite what I was hoping for. Let's try this again. I wonder if I can actually make this work, the way I'm trying to. Oh crap! <laughs> that is not what I wanted to click! I totally hit the wrong button there. And that's not- that's not fully gunked up yet. There we go. It seems to gunk up before it even touches. Alright, let's try this again. Excellent! Excellent. So then we can do this... ...and... ...uh... Hmm. I'll just turn that off for now, and we'll move it over here. Because I think it's gonna land somewhere there. Let's stand on this button now. And hopefully... hopefully... Oh, wait. Will this even work the way I'm expecting it to? Nope! Well, so much for that. <laughs> So, perhaps... Perhaps... If I do this, what exactly... does that cause to happen here? 
What if I do this? Oh, that- that's an idea. That is an idea. So now if I stand over here... There we go. Will we get there in time? Just barely. Excellent. Well, I'm not sure if that was fully intended, because... Uh... Yeah, I think I might have broken this in a few ways. Not entirely sure. It feels broken, but maybe that was intended. Who knows? Demon- I'm sure Demon Risen will tell me. Right. Up we go, another generator, as per normal. Come on now. There we go. Hey, I can jump up here. Fancy that. Something's been annoying me. Because the field of view says it's 90, but it feels like it's a lot less. How do I change that? How about we change it... to more like... Or like that. Let's try that. Much better. That actually feels a lot better. I should have done that a long time ago, because 90 for some reason felt really claustrophobic. It's not the same as Portal 290, it's like Cube 290 is a lot smaller than Portal 290. Yeah, I can see so much better now. I can see clearly now the 90 is gone. Oh, that brings back memories of Glitch Space. Right, what do we have through here? Ooh. Very atmospheric lighting in this one. Now that's interesting. What's down here? A bounce pad to get back up, and not much else. Okay, not sure why it's a pit, but sure. There's a lot of stuff going on in here, isn't there? So that's our end goal, so just get up there. Which means we need to break this fire door, I would guess. Here's where we get the fire from. And I bet we're gonna have something coast through here, bounce up, and get lit on fire to hit the door, right? That would be my guess. There's also a button over there. How do we get there? We have to break that door first. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I think we would capture something in this, and then launch it into that door. Gotcha. Let us start with... Let's just start with the simple. Right. We actually want to do something more like this. Let's also put one there, because why not? And... Right. Uh, hmm. So first of all... This is the one that's actually going to be bounced over here, so this one is gonna go over here, then that one's gonna be the one that gets gunky. There we go, that's just gonna stay there indefinitely. Let this move back under this one to pick it up. There we go. Then we bring it over here, get it gunked up. Excellent. And then... I think it's pretty straightforward from here, right? Can the magnet pick it up is the question. I think we have to do this first, right? Yes, there we go. So then we can do that. Excellent. And that's how we light it on fire. So now we just move it like this, and that should be sufficient, right? Put that back. There we go. Get this one gunked up. I think it's just a matter, now, of clearing this and then running for that button. I think that should work, right? And... Well, that's moving slower than I would like, but it seems to be working. Excellent. There we go. Wow. I think I solved- I think this is one of the first puzzles in, uh, like, half an hour at least that I've solved before I even started messing with it. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Right, on to the next. And you know what? I'm going to say that turning up the field of view has made it easier to solve that puzzle. Because a lot of times I get stuck is because I don't see something that's obviously right there in front of my eyes. We've got bounce pads to get back out. I can just preemptively place those. Uh, preemptively, thank you. This is interesting. Sounds like a plan to me. Hmm. What are these for, though? Interesting. Why would I want that? Kinda worked, I guess? Sure. Hmm. There's that, there's that. Not sure why we would want that, but sure. Nope, wrong color. That lands like that. So what happens if we get to land on top, though? Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Pressing all the wrong buttons here. Ah, that does work. So then... Do that, and this one can land on the button to move this other one. There we go. Then, since we want it to land on this button, we can make this slippery and pull it out from under. Wait, what? No, that doesn't make sense. All I have to do is clear it. What is this for, then? Maybe... it's yet to be determined. Oh, I'm so close. I just need to keep up here now. Wait a sec. So I can clear that easy enough. Ooh, that's, uh, kinda not exactly what I was hoping for, but sure. Oh, Crap. Well, now I've gotta start over. I figured it out. We wanna get it gunked up for when we redo it on this part. Right, so. So let's do... Let's do this. And this. And this. There we go. Clear it. Place it again. And get it gunked up. <gasps> then we clear... I think we want to clear this one, right? Will this even work the way I'm expecting it to? Oh, that was the wrong one! No! Hmm. This might still work. Keyword might. Oh. Not quite what I had in mind, but, uh... Uh Now I need a cube there, right? That does 
that all fine and dandy. Mm-hmm. There's no way to get this cube onto there right now, unfortunately. What's the cube I was standing on? What? I'm telling you, Demon Arisen. I'm telling you, the physics just do not like me in any game that I play. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but now we need a cube over here, is the issue. Uh-huh. There's something I'm clearly misunderstanding about what I'm trying to do here. Like, why would I want to make this gunked up? I don't want to use bounce pads anywhere here, as far as I can tell. Using a bounce pad just seems like a bad idea. Capture the left one. And then make the right one... Oh, that's interesting. Hold on a sec. What are these for, then? Just to stand on? So I can do that, right? That captures that, then I can clear it. And then what? See, it says I have the right one selected, but if I middle click right now, I bet it's gonna clear the left one. Yeah. The highlight is totally incorrect. It's what my cursor is on that matters. Hmm. Well, now we've got one that's gunked up, and one that isn't. That seems important, right? So now, let's just clear both of these, right? Right. Hmm. Come on now. Then maybe... Oh, come on. Yep, no, that's not- that's not gonna work. There's not enough time for that to work. Well now. I seem to have gotten stuck. Hmm. I think... I think we're gonna call it here, and next episode... I'll either figure it out, or we'll go to a different puzzle, and then come back to this one later. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!